I am getting into my first ever 2023 Decorate With Me video. And we are gonna lighten this space with some new pieces that I shared with you before Christmas. And I think it'll be really pretty. I've been playing with ideas and I love it. Thank you so much for your well wishes and congratulations on my last video. I love you guys, thank you so much. First, let's go in with the mirror. That will be the focal point, center stage. lighten the space and it's white and that cabinet over there is white so they kind of tie in nicely together but what do I always say let there be light we need lamps let me go get some so I thought these lamps would be a nice look here on this cabinet and they're not too tall they're not too small so I think they're the perfect fit so I'm gonna put one here and one there Now we're talking, I love it. Hello. Let there be light. These lamps so remind me of my house with the double staircase because I had several of these in different sizes and shapes and different areas. So when I put those there, I just, mm, I love it. Now we're gonna go in with this beautiful marble piece that I got from Amazon. And this is Santa Barbara Design Studio. It was a Christmas gift. And unfortunately, when it came in the mail, it was broken. So we texted Amazon, uh, we did their chat option, and they said, don't worry about it. We'll do the refund and you can keep it. Don't worry about sending it back. And I was gonna order a new one, but my husband surprised me. I saw him in the kitchen with this and he was, using baking soda and some sort of glue. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm fixing it. It took him a while, but just so you know, if you have any marble pieces, you can use like a super glue mixed with baking soda and I water, I think. And he literally, you can see right here where it chipped. I don't know if you can tell, but the baking soda kind of goes into the grooves where you can barely see it. So we were able to salvage this and I love it. I just love it. So we are gonna place that right there. And thank you hubby for fixing this because I love it. So just as you can see, this can be used as any sort of a riser or you could use it in a kitchen and do a beautiful cheese board or use it for entertaining. I'm sure that's really what the intention is for this. But once again, I love multi-purpose pieces. And this is definitely one that can be used for decorating and for entertaining. So now I'm going to go in with two different cutting boards. I can't remember where I got this one, but I liked it because it had the marble and the, the color of the wood warms up the space since we've got a lot of white up top. So let's go in with this. Okay, and now just to kind of keep the look and feel similar in nature, I'm going to go in with this piece, which is also Santa Barbara Design Studio on Amazon. I'll link it below. And again, I love the little leather detail strap at the top. It's marble with this beautiful wood. So actually this and this are part of the same collection. So this and this are Santa Barbara Design Studio. I will be adding two more pieces from that collection. <laughs> Now this is also a part of the same collection. I'll link it below for you, but I love it. I love the little marble ball on top. And as I mentioned before, before Christmas, 
Um, you can put wine, this is a decanter, so you could put any kind of wine in here, but if you're not a big wine drinker, you could certainly put anything in here. And if you're entertaining and you're going out to the patio or deck, you put this base, this marble base in the freezer, and then you set your drink on top. So say you're having cold, um, say you wanna have some white wine. This is gonna keep it beautifully chilled and any drink you put in here. So I love it for that reason. I also have this adorable piece. This is for oil or vinegar, and it has a wood ball. This is also Santa Barbara Design Studio. I haven't, I'm not gonna fill these with anything. I'm just gonna show you for the purposes of doing a cute display. marble base sort of contains the decor and keeps it nice and tidy looking. But now I wanna go in with texture and height. So I've shared these before. I got this base at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I believe it was $13 when I got it. And then I have this beautiful little tree. I can't remember what it's called, but I also got these when they were 50% off. So I love how this base coordinates with the white and the warmth of the wood. I think it will look beautiful together. I thought these were just to place on the ground. Don't be afraid to put tall plants or shrubs or little tiny trees up on top of your buffets. I, I really think it's fun because it draws your eyes up. It adds the little texture at the top. You've got the reflective property right there. You've got the decor contained in the center and you've got the light dispersed. So I just need to add two more things. Y'all know I'm a maximalist, so I'm not stopping here. Just two more things. Okay, so before Christmas, I shared these wood candle holders I had found on Amazon. I discovered that when I got this one, look it, notice anything different about it? It's sloping. And I was too lazy to send it back. so. I was trying to think of a way to utilize this candle holder so that whatever I put on top doesn't look crooked, you know, like sloped. So this was my way to fix the problem. So I ran up to my little storage area and I found two of these. And I thought, I wonder if I could sit this down to sort of conceal the imperfection and then add my LED flameless flickering candle on top. And boom, it worked. And then I just set my flameless flickering candle on top. And again, once again, you do not even notice the imperfection. So let's place these. I'll do one on each side. I tried these side by side up on my mantle, but I don't know, I think it looks really good. I'm very symmetrical. So I'm gonna put one there and one over here, kind of like that. And this adds a little textural element. This adds the ambiance and of course, I love the white chippiness of the candle holders.
right over here in between the TV and this area, I'm going to place this. Why? Because I feel like the wood is a nice contrast to the wood in the cutting boards and I like the brown, how it all ties together. So I'm just going to hang this on the wall and certainly when spring rolls around, I'll probably add a spring wreath. But right now, we're just keeping it simple. Okay, so right here, I actually had that wood piece hanging there, but I kind of switched things up just because I wanted to change. So now I'm gonna go in with my Hobby Lobby embellishment. Why? It's gonna break up all this white. It's too sterile for me. So this is a great way to kind of break it up if you are in a similar situation and say so you've got a cabinet facing a family room or a dining room and you wanna break it up. Don't be afraid to add wall decor because it really does make things look better. It warms it up. Here's the piece I'm gonna add. So um, it had two hangers on it, one here and one over there. I just took one hanger off and I hung it in the back on right directly in the center. And then that will allow me to hang it up there without putting two holes in, in the cabinet. <laughs> it broke up all that white. It added warmth to the space and it ties in beautifully with the little wood pieces I placed over here. By the way, friends, green is very, very popular this year. Lots of plants, lots of pops of green in all different shades. So I'm going to tie another wreath in to kind of tie in with all of this and add a pop of green. By the way, I have shared this trick before. You if you have an old curtain ring, take the little hook off and you can take any wreath and just boom, place it on there. And then you can hang it over these little metal iron pieces with such ease. I'm going to hang it from right here. feel like all the greens kind of encompass one another and the warmth of the wood kind of transitions on over here. The candles and the, the lamps kind of go together. So I really love this look. In fact, when I get into my new house, I will probably, I will probably be doing something similar in different areas. I don't know. We'll see. about my good friend winter remember i told you guys i got this dress form at ross many many years ago and then i just changed out the apron seasonally i haven't done that this year i've kept it checkered because of my um my bar stools and my kitchen balance but at my old old house i used to change the apron out with the seasons but and i name her uh for the seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. And right now, she's winter. And if you have a dress form or you can find one, they're great to place in little corners of your kitchen or dining room. And it, it makes a great conversational piece. You can add a hat, 
uh, for the spring, you know, and add like a little basket of flowers. Like it's hanging off of her shoulder like a purse. You have options. But nonetheless, she's going tucked in right here. I just sort of angle her a little bit. And there she is, just tucked right in the corner there, as cute as she can be. That's how this little area turned out. I'm gonna hold off on styling the bottom cabinet because I have something exciting to share there that many of you will like. So stay tuned for that. And I thought I would try posting on Thursday. I've noticed that when I post my videos on Friday, it's really slow going. I think it's TGIF baby and everybody's off doing their thing. So I wanted to do a a test run and post Thursdays to see if the numbers are better. So I'm just trying it out and I may be back tomorrow to show you how I styled the bottom of this and how it all ties together because it, it looks so good, you guys. Um, so stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next one. Love you all so much. Bye guys.